Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this particular lecture we will learn how to style react components using CSS modules. So firstly let's learn what exactly a CSS module is and how it is different from using a regular styling which we have here. So first of all you need to understand that a CSS module is different from a CSS style sheet. So a CSS module is something in which all the class names are scoped locally by default. So for example, whenever you create a CSS module, uh, that particular module only applies to that specific component on which you're applying and the rest of the components in your application are not affected. So that's one advantage of using a CSS module. So the question is how exactly to create a CSS module. So whenever you have to create CSS modules in React, the very first thing which you do is that you name that particular module uh, with a dot module dot CSS extension. So let's create a module here. So here we already have a style dot CSS file. Uh, now let's create a module. So I'll say style dot module dot CSS. So as you can see, this right here is a module and this right here is a style sheet. This is how you could distinguish between the two. So what I would do is that I would copy the same code which we have here, which is for the header, and I would paste that up over here and let's change the color to blue. Now the question is how to use this particular module to style up a specific component. So let's go ahead and create a component here. So I'll create a new file and I'll call it as module component.js and here let's create that module so export default module component and then let's make this thing return a div with a class header and I guess I forgot to mention function here and in this div let's say I want to say something like this is a module component. Okay, so once we have this, now the question is how exactly to apply the styling which is placed up over here. So for now, let's use this component here. So I would go ahead and add that component called as module component. And it will be automatically imported here. Let's get rid of the style component. And now if I go back to the browser, you'll be able to see that currently the color is not applied to that specific component. And now in order to apply the styling, First of all, you need to import that module here. And the way in which you import that is you say import styles from and then mention style.module.css. So here we have imported all the styles which are available from here. However, now it depends completely on me to which particular class I want to apply them. So let's say I want to apply it to this div right here. So I could say class name equals. And here instead of just passing in header Instead, now I would make use of the curly brackets and say styles.header. And if I do that, if I go back here, as you can see, the styling is going to be applied to this specific component. Now, the advantage of using CSS modules is that the classes which we use here, which is nothing but this class right here, are scoped locally by default. This means that the styling will only be applied to the class in which you use it and it won't accidentally be applied to other elements. So for example, let's say now you have created this particular module and you have used that module here. So the stylings which are defined here are only going to be applied to the components which are present up over here and it won't accidentally be applied to other elements which you have. That means for example, if you have another class name, just as we have up over here header, it won't actually clash with this particular class name, which we have up over here. So the CSS modules actually let you use the same CSS class names in different files without worrying about the name clashes. So that's the advantage of using CSS modules. So one of the most recommended approaches to add CSS is either to use a style sheet or you could go ahead and use CSS modules. So these are the two recommended approaches whenever you have to add CSS to your components. So once we have learned how to use or add styling to our components, in the next lecture, let's actually work on building a to-do list application in React wherein we will add styling to the component. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.